think what's really powerful about that story is that Do Something is really using SMS as a personal and natural way for people to connect and come together around things that are close to, to their heart and core to who they are as people. And we want more organizations to have access to the communications that change lives like this. In fact, the mission of Twilio.org is to fuel communications that give hope, power, and freedom. And each individual change matters. For instance, when a child is injured in a traffic accident on a rural road in the Dominican Republic, Trek Medics is there because they have built a 911 emergency response system entirely on Twilio SMS. Or when a woman is at risk for cervical cancer, she can be diagnosed and treated because Care Message is providing voice and text reminders around screenings and treatments. Lives are changing one at a time. But with the help of Twilio's platform, organizations are doing this at a massive scale. At the scale of 300 million messages for good. This is the number of messages. <laughs> this is the number of messages social impact organizations have sent through Twilio. That is triple the impact in the last year alone. But I think we can do a lot more to help these organizations. And that's why I am so excited to announce today the Twilio.org Impact Fund. This is going to provide grants to nonprofits and investments in social enterprises. And this is tied to our Pledge 1% commitment, where we are providing our platform, our volunteer time, as well as 1% of our equity to help fund social impact. And now I can let you know about the first $1 million that are going to these eight nonprofits. So now. Thanks. So now, Trek Medics will be able to save more lives by bringing that 911 emergency response system to 50 more countries around the world. Or, Care Message will have more funding to be able to help 2 million more patients from underserved communities live healthier, more vibrant lives. Or yesterday, you heard from LaFon that we are working with Yes We Code and Lesbians Who Tech. Now, these two organizations will have more funding to help 100 more people become developers. And this is important because developers are at the core of all of this positive impact we've been talking about. Last year, when I was here at Signal, I invited all of you to use your skills to code a better world. Hundreds of you responded, and many of you were selected to work on projects. And with your help, we launched five projects, including one to help the International Rescue Committee help refugees get asylum. In the last year, we also hired a lead technical engineer in Twilio.org to help build out this program to engage more developers in doing good. He is likely a familiar face because he's been a Twilio developer evangelist for the last four years. So I want to invite on stage Kevin Winery to talk a little bit more about this program. Kevin Riley, good morning. Oh. What's up? Thank you very much. Good to have and, uh, you. Yeah, I'm very glad to be here. Thanks. So, Kevin, you have talked to me about why it is you do what you do, but I want you to share that with the rest of the folks here. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I think like a lot of developers uh, lately, I've been trying to think more intentionally about uh, how I can use some of the technical skills I've picked up uh, over the years to, to do some good. Uh, and like, I can't cure people that are sick, I can't write a huge check, uh, but I can write a little bit of code. Um, so uh, I'm going to do everything that I can and help uh, the developers in here do everything that they can uh, to help organizations like do something, like TrackMedics and Care Message, do what they do even better. 
And you know, we've heard that from a lot of developers, and that's why we launched the, the alpha of the Twilio.org developer uh, community last year. So in that alpha in the last year, we have been learning a lot of lessons. And one thing that we learned is that when we really focus on something more timely and specific, something that people are fired up about in the moment, we get more engagement. So think of the last several months. There has been a big upswell in people who want to express their views to elected officials. We see it definitely in the United States, but also around the world, in France, in the UK, and in a lot of other areas. And at the same time people are wanting to express their views to elected officials, the current systems and processes are broken. They're not working. Busy signals, full mailboxes. People don't even know when votes are happening. And at that same time, when there's these problems that are really clear in our systems, we heard from developers that you all want to use your skills to fill those gaps, create solutions to help. The, and so, with all of that input, we, it prompted us to launch the Voices for Democracy initiative. This is really focused on strengthening our representative democracy by giving more people a voice to those elected officials and those elected officials to act according to those voices. And we set out a pretty big goal of powering 100 million messages for good. That's a big number. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of messages, a lot of notifications. Uh, and you know, Aaron and I are probably not going to be able to do that uh, by ourselves. Although I do have, have to say, uh, I think Aaron has the makings of a very fine JavaScript developer from what I've seen so far. Hi, Tom. So you're just going to like tear my heart right out of my <laughs> chest and like squish it right in front? Ugh. Python is fine. Uh, beautiful language with significant white space. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's great and that we're not here to bike shed about uh, programming languages. We're here to try to uh, bring folks together uh, to get something done. Uh, and we've uh, been working with organizations all over the world that are uh, working on uh, bringing more people into representative democracy. Um, but there's one project that uh, everybody here at Signal can help out with that we think is going to have a major impact. Uh, we're teaming up with our friends at the Open Media Foundation to work on something we're calling the Open Data Notifications uh, Project. And uh, basically what we, what we want to do is create an SMS-based system where people can uh, text in and uh, register for, to receive notifications uh, when legislation they care about is coming up for a vote in their state and local government. Um, it's a tool that I certainly wish I had. Uh, there was a piece of legislation that I was tracking uh, in the Minnesota State House that was going to affect uh, 40,000 uh, women in Minnesota, uh, you know, drastically reducing some of the health care benefits they were going to get. Uh, and I, it came up for a critical vote, and uh, I only learned about it after I could actually make an impact on the decision. That's why I like this project, is I know what issues I care about, but I have no idea when those issues are coming up for a vote. And now this app can tell me so that then I can call my representative at the exact moment when my opinion will matter the most. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think like it's important to remember like government doesn't happen once every four years. There are uh, critical decisions that happen every single day in state and local government uh, where your voice can really make a difference. Uh, and you can, uh, when you act locally, you have the capacity for even greater impact than you might have on an uh, issue that you're working on nationally or globally. How, what can people do today? Funny you should ask what people can do today to help, uh, because actually if you would be so kind as to pull out your phones, uh, if you're uh, playing Candy Crush, just dismiss that real quick, send a text message to this number that you see behind me uh, with a text, do good, and you'll actually receive some information on how you can help with this project and also on lots of other projects that we're going to be doing uh, throughout the year and going forward uh, for really cool nonprofits that are working through Tulio.org. So I'm going to be hacking on this project in the uh, Hack Pack area. Uh, you can find me or Brian from Open Media. We'd love to help you get started and uh, cover some of the green field we have um, on this project. And how close are we later? To this. Uh, we're sitting in a room full of 2,000 of the best developers um, on the face of the planet. So uh, I, think we can, I think we can get something done today uh, if, we, if we work together. Awesome. So there you have it. We have a room full of people with the exact technical skills to launch an app that will help more people get engaged in local and state government right at the moment when it matters the most and also get engaged with the projects that we have ongoing throughout the year. So text that number, and we cannot wait to see how you code a better world.